I am going to be big as Mr. Beast. I am going to be big as Mr. Beast. I am going to be big as Mr. Beast. I'm going to be big as Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, I'm coming for you. Hi, I'm Clantus. So in this video, I decided let me talk to you about how to grow your YouTube channel in 2021. A few days ago, YouTube decided to educate us how the YouTube algorithm really works in 2021. So I thought, let me bring what they taught us to your attention so that you will know what exactly is expected of you as a content creator on YouTube. Yes, the YouTube algorithm is still triggered by the three factors, which is click, watch, as well as engagement. But there are additional factors that actually triggers the YouTube algorithm to pick your videos and then promote them to a bigger crowd. So I am going to share with you in detail what are these factors that YouTube actually says will help your YouTube channel to grow in 2021. So here's the good news. Each and every one of us have the potential to be as big as Mr. Beast, who has over 61 million subscribers and tens and tens of millions of views on the platform per month. Isn't that a dream? So definitely I too want to conquer YouTube just like Mr. Beast and also grow my YouTube channel to over 61 million subscribers in the very near foreseeable future. So definitely I want to be Africa's Mr. Beast. In this case, I'm talking about my channel size both with subscribers as well as views. It's about time Africa had its own Mr. Beast and here I am. <laughs> Okay, okay, enough about Mr. Beast. Let's get into this video how you can grow your YouTube channel in 2021. So like I said, YouTube decided to give us an extensive explanation about how you can grow your YouTube channel. What are the key factors that you as a content creator on YouTube, you should focus on in order for you to trigger the YouTube algorithm and then you see yourself grow on YouTube. So they went as far as telling us that there are three factors that will trigger the YouTube algorithm to take your videos and push them or promote them to more people on the platform for your YouTube channel to grow in terms of subscribers as well as views. So these three factors are influenced by two matrix. The first matrix is impressions and the second one is click through rate. However, it's also very important that you take cognizance of engagement as well as watch time. Remember, YouTube's number one goal is to keep people watching videos on the platform for a long period of time. Because we are so used to growing our YouTube channels in terms of subscribers. However, YouTube did not mention anything about subscribers. All it mentioned was how to grow your YouTube channel in terms of views. They seem to be more concerned about views over subscribers. But that does not mean subscribers are not important on YouTube because they are. Especially for you as a YouTube channel owner. So before I go any further, first let's define what is impression. An impression is the number of times that YouTube users have seen your video thumbnail on their home pages. And YouTube says that is exactly what you want. In order to convert those impressions into clicks, clicks into watch, watch into engagements. So if you are a channel owner and you've been uploading videos on your YouTube channel, you will definitely see how much impressions your YouTube channel currently has by looking at your YouTube studio analytics. YouTube says the more impressions you have, the more you can increase your chances of YouTube suggesting your YouTube videos to a bigger crowd so that you get more click through rate as well as watch time. And then YouTube broke down how you can increase your impressions on your channel. So then YouTube broke down how you can increase your click through rates as well as your watch time into three categories. The first category is personalization. The second category, your video performance. And the third category is content seasonability. So personalization is all about individual viewer and they watch history. So immediately YouTube knows this, it will then take your YouTube video and shows it to people that it thinks will enjoy your content. Remember, the YouTube algorithm is driven by viewers. What viewers do, that's how the YouTube algorithm is going to react. As I always like to say, this is where the chickens come home to roost. Not roast. 
Understanding the recommendation systems of YouTube is very important for you as a content creator, so says YouTube. Every content on YouTube has audience. Your job is to create content that these audience are searching for on YouTube. And then YouTube finds you the audience and then bring your YouTube videos to their attention. So YouTube then says it does not always end with them suggesting your YouTube videos to a specific crowd. Sometimes they would push your YouTube videos to even a bigger crowd that does not necessarily watch the type of content that you put out on YouTube. They basically want to check if this audience will actually click and watch your YouTube videos because remember, YouTube's main goal is to keep people on the platform for a very long period of time. So sometimes they will link videos that are related to each other or topics that are related to each other or at least close enough to relating with each other and therefore will take your YouTube video and then promote it to another category of viewers on the platform. And then once YouTube has done so, then it goes to the second category, which is video performance. Now, this is where you will have to drive. Basically, what YouTube does, it looks at the three metrics, which is click, watch, and engagement. So you see the three factors that triggers the YouTube algorithm still plays a huge role under video performance. So the first matrix that it looks at is appeal or click, basically your thumbnail as well as your title of your YouTube video. So basically what the YouTube algorithm does immediately after it has promoted your YouTube video, it looks at did people choose to watch your YouTube video? The second matrix is engagement. After they have clicked on your thumbnail, did people start watching your YouTube video and how long did they stay watching your YouTube video? And as a result, how much watch time did this video accumulate? And then the third matrix that the YouTube algorithm looks at immediately after promoting your YouTube video to a large crowd of people is video satisfaction. Basically, the YouTube algorithm will ask itself, did viewers enjoy watching your content? And the best way it can tell is through likes, comments, as well as subscriptions. So basically what YouTube is saying is, Immediately after they have started promoting your YouTube video, they want to see what viewers do after being offered your YouTube videos. And then from there, they look at click-through rate and then they want to see viewers' feedback. That is likes, comment, as well as subscribing. So before I proceed, I would like you to hit the like button for me as I will explain why you should do that and why you should also ask people to like your YouTube video because it has to do with the YouTube algorithm pushing your YouTube video to even bigger crowds. YouTube, I want to be Africa's Mr. Beast. Oh, and don't forget to leave me a comment down below because that too plays a huge role in the YouTube algorithm promoting my YouTube video. So it turns out that the YouTube algorithm will look at viewer satisfaction through likes. The YouTube algorithm will basically be very convinced that it should take this video and promote it to even more people. Additionally, YouTube also brought to our attention that our YouTube videos immediately they are uploaded on YouTube, they go through competition with other videos that are doing similar content as yourself. So I think it is wise that whenever you choose a niche, cho choose a niche that is not highly competitive. Otherwise, you will be swallowed by big YouTubers when you upload a YouTube video. And as a result, you are not going to see any views on your YouTube channel. And as a result, you are not going to get subscribers. However, because there are other people that are going to discover your YouTube videos and they are going to click and watch your YouTube video, but they are not going to be as many as the big YouTube channels get. Like Mr. Beast. And then the final category, seasonability. Basically what YouTube is saying is, it will not make sense for you to create YouTube videos that are talking about Valentine's Day content on your YouTube channel in April because people are not going to take you serious. As a matter of fact, people are going to look at you crazy. Also, it will be strange of you to upload Vlogmas in June because it is not Christmas season. So if the Christmas season is approaching, it is wise for you to start uploading Christmas related content as early as November. The build up to Christmas is going to result with you growing on YouTube. 
So at the end of the day, in order for you to grow on YouTube in 2021, you would have to increase your impression, resulting in you getting discovered on YouTube. YouTube says it is all about the viewers. Yours is to create content that these audience are looking for and that is how you are going to grow on YouTube. And lastly, how your content is related with other contents on YouTube and importantly, viewer satisfaction. If you can master everything that I have mentioned in this video, then you are well on your way to growing your YouTube channel in 2021 and probably grow as big as Mr. Beast. So thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Clantus. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, share and comment. Very important that you click the like button and I will see you next time on my next video. Goodbye.